What up, Cowboys Nation and YouTubers? Is that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you? Uh, I was holding off until the final injury report came out to talk about injuries and the upcoming game at Arizona. I, everything was good. Tyler Smith was looking like he was heading back. Zach Martin was taking some veteran time off to heal himself up. Donovan Wilson looked like he was ready to uh, get back on the field. Then yesterday came. And yesterday, we all know, it is hard. Not only is our center, Tyler Biotish, getting an MRI on a hamstring, which seems to be an issue all across the league with hamstrings, but we lost Trayvon Diggs to a torn ACL for the season. In practice, no less. My gosh, it just, man, it hurt. <coughs> it hit a lot of us fans, you know, that abruptness of hearing about it, that it just threw us off. Um, once you had time to sit and think about it, this is probably a situation where we're better equipped than we have been in years past. Because in years past, we had Trayvon Diggs, Jordan Lewis, and Anthony Brown basically manning the outsides and inside for that and maybe a rookie here and there. And uh, if anybody got hurt, it was always next man up, but the next man wasn't always better. And frankly, it wasn't always on the same level, which generally you're not going to get anyway or else you'd be a starter. But this year, due to some... Very good moves by Will McClay in drafting and actually Stephen Jones with free agency and trades. We are built to have some depth. So it's looking like uh, Gilmore is going to man his side. Deron Bland is going to step up this year and man the other outside uh, corner spot. Oh, and Jordan Lewis, he looks ready to come back. So he's going to have to, you know, step it up uh, this week. And he's going to man the inside with uh, Izzy backing them up uh, emergency-wise. And uh, our new guy, uh, Noah Iganomini, I think his name is. I probably butchered it. But uh, depth-wise, it's actually been pretty good compared to years past. Because usually we just had, like, Kelvin Joseph backing it up. And uh, Nation Wright when he's healthy. This year, we're doing a lot better in that category. So, at least the drop-off isn't going to be as bad as we could think it could be. And who knows? Deron Bland may be a diamond in the rough and be <laughs> the next Trayvon Diggs for all we know playing on the outside. So, you never know. Um and Dan Quinn, he's going to be getting these guys in the situation they need to succeed. If he sees something that's not working, he's going to fix it. Um, so I'm not too worried about, you know, that much of a drop off. Plus, with Arizona, I'm not going to say they're pushovers because um, they're not. I mean, everybody's a professional. But this is a game where, you know, if anything needs tinkering, this will be the game to probably get right. And hopefully we can continue that momentum against the Patriots and then the 49ers. Uh, the 49ers did win last night, 30-12 uh, to 12 over the Giants. Uh, a lot has been said about, uh, some people have said that 49ers didn't look good. Some said they looked okay. Um, some just noticed the score and said it wasn't as good as how we beat them. But it doesn't matter because when we face each other, it's going to be a whole different ball game. You know, different players, different situations, different coaches. So uh, that's upcoming. But, yeah, that the injury news kind of hit. So it's going to be up to uh, the backups to step up. Uh, uh, Chuma Idoga. I know he's got a hyperextended elbow, I do believe. 
So if need be, they're going to have to put him on the field. And it's going to be TJ Bass and uh, Hoffman, I think his name is, the backups to center. And um, they're just going to have to roll with it. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, not have too much drop off and we just can continue this momentum of going undefeated. We'll just have to see. Uh, other than that, I don't really have too much as far as news and notes. Uh, game time will be coming up against Arizona. Uh, thankfully, I can see it this week. Uh, I had to wait for the replay on NFL Plus last week to see the game. Um, I'm still impressed. But, um, yeah, Arizona's no pushover. But they've found ways to lose this year, unfortunately. But that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope people, if you're living in the Eastern Virginia area or DC, Maryland, y'all stay safe this weekend because y'all have the storm coming. Um, I'm right here in the thick of it too. Uh, more than likely, thankfully I'm off this weekend so I don't have to worry about uh, driving in flooded areas or anything like that. But uh, just be sure that if you're in those areas, stay safe out there. And uh, we'll talk to you either before game time or after the game like usual. Until then, it's VA Dallas Cowboy fan.